Well, moving on, do you remember how ions interact with each other? Well, I remember that positive metal ions and negative non-metal ions attract each other strongly. Good. Let's refresh our memory a little. Sure. Let's use sodium chloride again as an example. Sodium of group 1 donates one electron to form a sodium ion with a positive 1 charge, while chlorine of group 7 receives that one electron to form a chloride ion with a negative 1 charge. Their positive and negative charges are now balanced. Let's take a look at the dot and cross diagram. Yes, I remember. Sodium chloride is the easiest example of an ionic bond. Good. In the meantime, I would like to introduce you to two new terms, cation and anion. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? Cation and ion? A cation is a positive ion and an anion is a negative ion. The sodium ion is positively charged, so it's a cation. The chloride ion is a negatively charged ion, so it's an anion. So, you may say that the sodium cation and chloride anion bond together to form sodium chloride. I see. So, positive ions are cations. Negative ions are anions. Got it. Good. So metals will react to become cations, while non-metals will react to form anions, correct? That's correct. Try giving me another example of an ionic bond. Oh, sure. Let's take magnesium oxide as an example. Magnesium of group 2 donates its two valence electrons to form a magnesium cation with a plus 2 charge, while oxygen of group 6 receives those two valence electrons to form an oxide anion with a minus 2 charge. Their positive and negative charges are now balanced. Very good! Let's take a look at the dot and cross diagram of magnesium oxide. Well, that's pretty easy. Plus 1 with minus 1, plus 2 with minus 2, and these ions are balanced already. Mm, but can you give me a combination of ions they are not balanced. Sure. Do remember, for combinations of ions that are not balanced, you have to balance the charges by taking the lowest common multiple, or LCM, of the positive and negative charges. Aye, aye, teacher. <laughs> Don't aye, aye me. Hmm? Take magnesium chloride as an example and show me how you would balance it. Hmm. Magnesium from group 2 donates two electrons to form a magnesium cation with a plus 2 charge. Chlorine from group 7 receives one electron to form a chloride anion with a minus 1 charge. Their positive and negative charges, plus 2 and minus 1, are not balanced. We must balance the charges and should also draw the dot and cross diagram for magnesium chloride. We balance them by taking the lowest common multiple of 2 and 1, which is 2. One magnesium atom will donate 2 electrons, while 2 chlorine atoms will receive 1 electron each. Very good! Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, one magnesium cation reacts with two chloride anions to form magnesium chloride with a neutral or balanced charge. And the formula is MgCl2. Am I right? That's correct. Hmm. Let's try a trickier example. 